welcome to MHS TV. I'm Kara and this is your news for Friday, November 5th, 2021. On Tuesday, November 2nd, SEM schools had an e-learning day where students didn't come to school and worked remotely from home due to election day. This e-learning day is one of two such days in November as there will be an e-learning day on November 24th. On these days, students should log into Canvas and complete all tasks that teachers assigned. A tentative contract between the MEA and SEM was presented at last week's school board meeting. The contract has an increase in insurance premiums, some change to extracurricular pay, and salary raises for teachers. Starting pay for new teachers have been raised to $43,000, while most teachers will be getting a raise between $3,000 to just over $4,000. In three weeks, we'll be opening for the fall play, Charlotte's Web. The play will be on November 19th and 20th at 7 p.m. and November 21st at 2 p.m. Student tickets cost $5, while adult tickets cost $7. Come out and support the theater as they perform their first show of the year. In an effort to reduce sound disruption above and around the band room, the SEM School Board approved a new construction project. The improvements will help soundproof the band room, the sound from the band can make it difficult to hold other classes at a certain time of the day. The Mishawaka Network is getting a refresh over the coming months. The MEF has funded a brand new TV studio set that is being constructed now. This set should be constructed and installed by the end of February. We are excited about this update and can't wait to show it off. Recently, the SEM calling process has been updated and changed by the Federal Communications Commission. These changes will now require you to dial the number 8 and then the 10-digit phone number you're trying to call in order to make any local or long-distance phone calls. No changes have been made for dialing 911 or any inside extensions. On Saturday, October 23rd, the Cayman Cross Country team went to Huntington to race in the semi-state race. Corinne Flick was 53rd individually, and Julian Whalebrook was 107th. The boys team placed 16th. Liam Bauschke got 39th, and Ryan Hubengardner got 23rd individually, and he advanced to state. On Saturday, October 40th, the state meet occurred at Laverne Gibson Cross Country Course in Terre Haute, where Ryan Hubengardner raced and got 72nd out of 208 racers. Last Friday, the Caveman football team went against Concord for a rematch after losing to them earlier in the season. Sophomore Chase Gooden would get free touchdowns for the Caveman, with junior Chaz Hardy and senior Justin Fisher scoring for the Caveman too. The defense got two fumble recoveries and free turnovers. Tonight, the Caveman take on Michigan City at home for sectional championship. Whoever the winner is for tonight's game will advance and either play Munster or Valparaiso for the regional championship. Good luck, Cavemen. The girls' basketball team has been working hard to prepare for this year's season. They had their first game of the season last night. Let's take a look and see what their head coach has to say about this season. Hi, I'm Coach Belasco. I'm the head girls basketball coach here at Mishawaka High School. Uh, this group of uh, young ladies have made awesome strides of learning how to play the game and learning how to play hard and compete. Uh, that's one thing that I think they've learned overall, especially as a group. They've went out there and learned how to compete and play hard. Uh, if anyone who comes out, which we hope that we have a lot of attendance, uh, you'll sit here and watch a group of young ladies who go out there and work really, really hard and try to work, outwork the other team and do our best that we can to uh, win the next game. Talking about the seniors, I have a great group of seniors, great group of leaders. Uh, they've been putting in a lot of work. Uh, I expect a lot out of them and their leadership within the younger uh, players that we have. And as far as uh, who to look out for, I mean, there's a lot of young ladies on this team. There's not just one. That's one good thing that we have is we got a lot of good talent here and a lot of good uh, players that know what they're supposed to be doing as far as the team chemistry. My seniors this year are Emma Knipp, Emma Went, uh, Maddie Wiley, Ella Martin, Tori Orr, and Allison Gillis. So they've been here the last four years, and uh, I've coached them the last two years, and they've been awesome as coach. Uh, one of our biggest downfalls last year was uh, taking care of the ball and understanding what our 
good plays as far as basketball. But these girls are learning, and we had a really good summer this uh, summer playing against other teams that we lost to. Hopefully in the next week we can uh, turn into some things up as far as what we're learning and uh, have a good scrimmage. And therefore, when we go into Marion, one of our biggest flaws, once again, was taking care of the ball. And we've been trying to work on that little skill if they help us give us the best possibility to win. It's definitely different. Uh, the environment was definitely different. We had sectionals last year. Uh, we finally had some extra fans and extra people can come and students can come. And it was an awesome atmosphere. And we hope that we can continue that this year as far as the students coming in and supporting these girls. Anyone who wants to come out and watch, uh, we have a great young uh, group of young women that play great basketball, compete, and uh, represent Mishawaka High School the very best.